Miami football had received a ton of hype earlier this year with D.R.A. King, but Clemson kind of put him back in their place and supported the general narrative that Miami football has fallen off from national relevance. This is definitely somewhat true, but a lot of people like to forget about the 2017 season where the Canes were on top of the football world and were super close to making the college football playoff. They started the trend of the turnover chain and they were living up to all the flash and the hype that it brought with it. These were the days of Malik Rozier, Travis Homer, Mark Rick, and Jeff Thomas, and in today's video, we are going to relive the year that the U was almost back. Today's video will be documentary style as we will go through the preseason and week by week of this season. I'll include highlights from the best moments of the season, and we will talk about why they ultimately did not finish their miracle season off. But first, if you love college football, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications, give the video a like, share this video with your friends, suggest a future video topic down in the comment section, and this will all help the video get in the algorithm, which will help my views go up, help my channel do better, and I can upload more. But without further ado, let's get started and relive the time that the Miami Hurricanes almost made the college football playoff. In order to understand the 2017 season, we need to go back to the offseason and get a background and see the expectations of this team. Al Gold had been fired two years ago, and Mark Rick had been hired in 2016 after he was fired by Georgia. In 2016, the Canes went 9-4 in the year and were led by star quarterback Brad Kaya. He was now gone though, but the team was super talented, and they would have to find a guy to step up at quarterback if they wanted to be good. Let's look at SB Nation's preview of Miami going into 2017. The headline of the article said, quote, If Miami has a quarterback, the 2017 Canes will win their first ACC division title. Rick passed a lot of tests in his first year as being Golden's successor. I don't know if you guys know this, but back in the day, Mark Rick was actually a quarterback for the Canes. He improved the offense from 49th to 34th, and the defense went from 52nd to 13th in just one year. But who the heck was going to be the quarterback this year? Three-star recruit Malik Rozier ended up winning the job, but many were concerned about the position. They were absolutely loaded at running back as they had three future NFL guys in Mark Walton, Travis Homer, and DJ Dallas. Wide receiver was definitely a strength of theirs as they returned one of the best freshman receivers from a year ago in Amon Richards, plus they had their reliable Braxton Berrios, Stacey Coley, and Lawrence Kazier, with a young speedster named Jeff Thomas coming in. Don't forget about the talented tight ends they had either as they had Chris Herndon and David Njoku. Their five offensive linemen had a combined 86 starts and their front seven on defense was one of the best in the nation. The only question mark was their secondary. So this team was definitely talented, but the quarterback was going to be the key to the season, and the season would rest on Malik Rozier's shoulders. The Canes started out the year ranked number 18 in the country, and to help aid their defense, they created something that represents Miami football perfectly. It was called the turnover chain. You guys know that now, and a bunch of schools have made knockoff versions of it, but the flashy piece of jewelry was supposed to motivate the defense to get more turnovers, and if you forced one, you got to wear it. In week one, they easily took care of Bethune-Cookman, but their week two matchup with Arkansas State was canceled due to Hurricane Irma. They came back and easily defeated Toledo, and the Canes entered ACC play at 2-0. They would go on the road and stomp Duke, but now they would have a huge matchup with Florida State. Florida State was typically really good under Jimbo Fisher, but DeAndre Francois had been lost for the season, and they had to turn to true freshman James Blackman. There's a receiver wide open, it's touchdown FSU! Down late in the fourth quarter, the freshman completed a touchdown pass to Auden Tate, and fans went absolutely crazy, and for some reason Miami had never been able to take care of the Knowles in close games, and it looked like it was going to happen again. But down three with just under 10 seconds to go, Malik Rozier completed a pass to Darrell Langham, and after review, the touchdown was confirmed, and Miami stole a game in Tallahassee. It was their first win in over seven tries with the Seminoles, and this was an instant classic, and this was their first close game they'd won. The following week, though, the Canes found themselves trailing Georgia Tech, and it was fourth and ten. All hope was seemingly lost, but Malik Rozier completed a pass to Darrell Langham again, and, and it was a circus catch and a miracle. This got them in the field goal range, and with five seconds to go, Miami survived and won by one. Following week again, they found themselves up one against Syracuse, and with two minutes to go, Travis Homer took one to the house, and Miami kept winning these close games after their defense held. Every single game seemingly was close, as in the next game, North Carolina was driving, but they forced a late fumble and landed on it, and they won again, but how long would this luck last? Now, their next two games would actually test them. 
The first one was against number 13, Virginia Tech, and the Canes won this game with absolute ease. But how would they fare against Notre Dame? Maybe Miami was legit at this point, but Notre Dame looked really good this year, and many expected Miami to finally lose. College game day came to town for this one, and Miami found themselves up 20-0 right before halftime, so they already had all the momentum in the world. Back in the game. Book delivers a dart, intercepted! Look out! Trajan Bandy, the true freshman! Break out the chain again! The hysteria for Miami football reached an all-time high as true freshman Trajan Bandy took a pick six all the way to the house right before halftime, and Miami football was officially back, and they were legit playoff contenders. It would easily beat Virginia the following week, and were up to number two in the country. With a bad Pittsburgh team concluding the regular season on the road, it looked like Miami could legitimately make the playoff, even with a loss to Clemson. Except Miami struggled. Down 24-7 against Pitt, Rozier completed a deep pass to Braxton Berrios. Make that score 24-14, there was some hope. They recovered the ensuing onside kick, and now things got really interesting. Except on third down, Rozier fumbled the ball, Pitt landed on it, and won the game. This was one of the biggest upsets of the year, and the undefeated season was over. But if they could somehow manage to beat Clemson in dominating fashion in the ACC championship, maybe the playoff committee would overlook that loss and they would be able to salvage their playoff hopes. Instead, they lost 38-3. So the regular season didn't go how they wanted, but they would have a chance to make a statement in the Orange Bowl. They were selected to play number 6 Wisconsin, but they lost that game 34-24, and a team that at one point was 10-0 finished the year 10-3. The Canes' dream season was over, and a lot of people forget just how fun and how close they were to making it to the playoff that year. As we all expected, the Miami defense definitely performed, but let's take a look at the guys on offense. Malik Rozier was solid at the quarterback position as he threw the ball for 3,120 yards and 26 touchdowns, but he did throw 14 interceptions, but he still was better than most people honestly thought he would be. Mark Walton took a step down at running back, but Travis Homer emerged and became the main guy as he ran for 966 yards and 8 touchdowns, 5.9 yards per carry. Amon Richards also had a letdown year, but Braxton Berrios broke out and caught 55 passes for 679 yards and 9 touchdowns, and Jeff Thomas became one of the best special teams players in college football. After one more year at Miami, Mark Rick would be gone, and Manny Diaz has now taken over for Miami, and things honestly do look like they're on the uptick for him. Today's style of video is completely different and it'll likely get copyright claim, so be sure to smash that like button so more people can see this video, and if you enjoyed it, let me know down in the comment section, and if I should do more of these style of videos, let me know a team that I should do. If you're new and you love college football, I hope you have subscribed, and if you haven't, click that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you never miss an upload of mine, and check out all my other college football videos. I will definitely see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.